On January 1st, 1995, as much of the world was celebrating the dawn of a new year, something extraordinary was brewing in the cold waters of the North Sea. Just after 3 p.m., a monstrous wave, nearly 26 meters tall, surged out of the ocean, slamming against the Dropner oil platform off the coast of Norway. This wave was a groundbreaking moment in science. This is the story of the first rogue wave ever to be confirmed by scientific instruments. It's a tale of myth, discovery, and the unpredictable power of nature. To understand why this wave was so significant, let's first explore its setting. The North Sea is notorious for its brutal conditions, especially in winter. Gale force winds, icy rain, and relentless waves make it one of the most treacherous maritime regions in the world. And in the midst of this hostile environment stands the Dropner platform, a cutting edge oil rig designed to withstand everything the ocean can hurl at it. Its towering steel legs are anchored deep into the seabed, and it's outfitted with advanced sensors to monitor weather, wave activity, and structural stress. By 1995, the Dropner platform was already playing a critical role in oil extraction. But what happened that New Year's Day would thrust it into scientific history. For centuries, sailors told tales of rogue waves, massive walls of water rising from the sea without warning, capable of swallowing ships whole. These stories were dismissed as maritime folklore, the exaggerations of sailors hardened by life at sea. According to traditional models, waves of such magnitude were statistically impossible. The probability of encountering a wave over 12 meters tall in open waters was thought to be near zero. But sailors knew better. There were accounts of entire ships disappearing without a trace, and survivors spoke of waves that seemed to defy logic. One infamous tale from 1826 described a British frigate encountering a wave so enormous that it snapped the ship's mast like a twig. Until 1995, though, these stories lacked hard evidence, and that changed with the Dropner wave. On that stormy afternoon, as the wind howled and the waves battered the platform, one wave stood above the rest. At 3.20 p.m., the platform's laser-based sensors recorded a single, towering wave measuring 25.6 meters or 84 feet high. For comparison, that's taller than a six-story building, or about as high as the Christ the Redeemer statue in Brazil. And unlike surrounding waves, which were chaotic but predictable, this wave was an anomaly, steeper, taller, and more powerful than anything the models had predicted. The significance of this moment was enormous. This wasn't just a story or a blurry photograph. It was undeniable proof of the existence of rogue waves. The data was precise, recorded in real time by state-of-the-art instruments. But what causes rogue waves? Scientists now understand that these waves are the result of complex interactions between wind, currents, and other waves. Imagine multiple smaller waves traveling through the ocean. Under the right conditions, these waves can align perfectly, stacking their energy to create one massive wave. This phenomenon, known as the constructive interference, is like hitting the jackpot in a chaotic ocean lottery. Other factors, such as strong ocean currents or sudden changes in water depth, can also amplify wave energy, creating the towering giants we call rogue waves. The implications of the Dropner wave went beyond scientific curiosity. Rogue waves are now believed to be responsible for countless shipwrecks throughout history. One famous case is the loss of the SS Edmund Fitzgerald, a Great Lakes freighter that sank in 1975 under mysterious circumstances. Some experts speculate a rogue wave may have been involved. Rogue waves also pose a significant threat to modern vessels. Ships are typically designed to withstand waves up to 15 meters tall. A rogue wave, like the Dropner wave, can cause catastrophic damage in seconds. 
Following the Dropner event, researchers began to take rogue waves seriously. Wave modeling techniques were revised, and oceanographers started deploying more advanced equipment to study these phenomena. One breakthrough came with satellite imaging, which revealed that rogue waves were not as rare as previously thought. In fact, they could occur multiple times a year in certain regions, like the North Sea or off the coast of South Africa. The discovery also led to changes in maritime engineering. Ships, oil rigs, and offshore wind farms are now designed with rogue waves in mind, incorporating reinforced structures and advanced early warning systems. But despite our technological advancements, rogue waves remain unpredictable. They serve as a stark reminder of the ocean's raw power and our limited ability to tame it. The Dropner wave was a wake-up call. It proved that the ocean is still an area of mystery capable of defying our understanding and humbling our technology. So the next time you gaze out at sea, remember the Dropner wave, a towering giant that emerged from the depths to remind us that, even in modern age, nature holds the ultimate power. Do you have any experience with rogue waves? Let me know in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this story, make sure you like, share, and subscribe for more stories from 30 years ago.